That's right, ladies and gentlemen. All of a sudden, Barack Obama wants to streamline the government. Wow, isn't it a beautiful thing? Well, let's look, shall we, at what it is Obama wants to shrink. These are the agencies that Obama suggests that we merge, downsize, uh, shrink, what have you. The Commerce Department, the Small Business Administration, the Office of the U.S. Trade Representative, the Export-Import Bank, the Overseas Private Investment Corporation, the Trade and Development Agency. Now, what do these agencies all have in common? They're all pro-business. They are all pro-business. And this is where Obama wants to shrink. You can even say those agencies might lean to being pro-Republican or pro-conservative. And that's what Obama wants to shrink. He had this big press conference yesterday, this big whatever it was in the White House, where he introduced a new term, insourcing, as opposed to outsourcing jobs. Now, I have a question, and I brought this up earlier. Are we to presume that Barack Hussein Obama mm, 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 and Leon Panetta and Hillary Rodham Clinton will enjoy firing those four soldiers captured in the worst than Abu Ghraib video? You heard about this, right? Dawn, you haven't heard about this? <sighs> um, well, there's a video, nobody knows how old it is of some U.S. Marines urinating on the bodies of Taliban combatants in Afghanistan. You're it peed on them. And, of course, it's, it's Marines. It violated the rules. This is, there's, there's no, no defense of this. The overreaction to this is, is nuts, but still it, it happened. You know, 80,000 soldiers were fired by the regime. Oh, yeah, we're going to cut defense. We don't care. We'll cut defense. 80,000 soldiers fired. 80,000 soldiers laid off without a lot of tears from the regime. So what's getting rid of four more? But when it comes to laying off cops, uh, 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 no way. Can't lay off cops. Why? Cops are too important. Armed resistance in our neighborhoods, the first responders, the police in your local community, whenever local leaders tell you that they just don't have the money anymore, they have to make budget cuts, and the first goal will be the cops and the teachers and the firemen. What do you do? No, 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 don't cut our firemen. Oh, no, I don't want to be less. Okay, fine, then we can't cut anything. No problem cutting 80,000 soldiers. Snap your fingers. It's done. 80,000 soldiers. Outsource, insource, doesn't matter. Big difference is that the soldiers are not unionized and can't kick anything back to Obama. The cops are.